Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Steiner. I am CEO of Steiner Biotechnology, and we research and develop bone grafts. I'm also a periodontist and have been uh, placing dental implants for many years. Today, we're gonna to talk about a subject uh, that is unfortunate, but it also is very common, and that is tooth removal. And we want you to know the options that are available to you. Traditionally, tooth removal was a, br a brutal process. Um, this material uh, that I have here, this is called a dental forcep, was developed in the 1800s, and it was used to remove teeth from patients that had to have an extraction. Unfortunately, it's still used today, and it's still a very common procedure. And it's a procedure that used to be effective, but today in the day where we need to maintain your health and reduce the amount of trauma during a dental extraction, we have developed techniques that are far superior to using dental forceps for an extraction. Uh, the biggest problem we have is that teeth simply don't come straight out of the jaw. So when a dentist grabs your tooth with a forceps, what he's doing is he's putting a tremendous amount of lateral force on the tooth. That's why you've seen these images of people's heads moving back and forth when the dentist is trying to extract their tooth. And all this force is being applied to the tooth, but it goes directly to the bone because what the dentist is trying to do, he's trying to apply enough force to the bone so the bone actually spreads apart opens up, bends, and creates a larger socket and a larger hole in the bone, so then the tooth will come out. Sometimes when the tooth comes out, it brings part of the jaw with it. But no matter what, all this force being applied to the jaw bone causes the bone to bend, but bone never bends, bone only fractures. But what's going on in the jaw is that there's millions of micro fractures that are developing into that bone, and that's actually how the bone is spreading apart. It's actually fracturing apart as the tooth is being removed. And the problem with this is, is each one of those millions of microfractures has to be repaired, and they're repaired by breaking down the bone in the area of that microfracture. And when you break down the bone of a few million microfractures, what you're doing is causing tremendous amount of bone loss. My first experience with removing a tooth from a patient was, of course, in dental school. They send you down to the oral surgery clinic, they have a patient that needs a tooth removed, they give you a dental forcep, and they say, take this tooth out. That experience was maybe more difficult on me than it was the patient. It was absolutely a brutal experience for both of us. And I swore that I'm not going to spend my career doing that to people. That's why I went into periodontics where I save teeth as opposed to oral surgery where we do this brutal procedure to people all day long. And so fortunately for me and you, uh, there's been techniques that have developed that avoid the brutality of tooth extraction and it's called minimally invasive tooth removal. And what we do in minimally invasive extractions is we destroy the tooth but preserve the bone. There's no force, there's no yanking. In fact, I tell the patients that I see I don't pull teeth anymore. I section them inside the socket so that when we're done with the procedure, the tooth is destroyed, but the bone is preserved. Okay, now you've seen how we can actually remove a tooth by destroying the tooth, but not causing any damage to you or your jaw. And it's critically important that we preserve the health of your jaw for future therapy. But you can also see what you have is once this tooth comes out, you've got this huge gaping wound. Well, this huge gaping wound is direct access into your jaw and into your skeleton. But many dentists, unfortunately, will just give you a piece of gauze to bite down on and have you walk out the door. Well, that is no longer acceptable because in medicine, the most minor, simple, insignificant wound is always cleaned, closed and dressed. I don't care if you have a simple injection, they put a Band-Aid over the top of it, but here you go into a dental office, they're gonna take out this huge tooth and leave you with this huge wound and let you walk out the door. That is no longer accepted therapy. What you need your dentist to do is you need your dentist to clean the wound, close the wound and dress the wound so that it heals properly. And how they do that is they clean the infection out of the extraction socket, they close the wound by filling it with a science-based bone graft and they dress it by putting a membrane over the top of it. 
And this does many things because what it does is that it, rather than having an open wound that you're walking out the door with, you avoid things like dry sockets. You avoid the bone breaking down in the jaw. You avoid the collapse of the gum tissue and the collapse of the bone. So with this extraction socket treated properly by cleaning it, closing it, and dressing it, you're providing a perfect foundation for the dental implant that's most likely to follow. But now if you want to find somebody that uses science-based bone grafts and uses minimally invasive extraction techniques, call Steiner Bio. We'll find a clinician in your area that uses these type of techniques. But also, uh, I do practice in Roseville, California, which is right next to Sacramento. If you're interested in me seeing you for your dental therapy, I'm very happy to provide your care. So please call Steiner Bio and we'll get you set up for a consultation. I'll be happy to see you at that time. I hope you've learned uh, some information that will help you in your future dental care. Thank you very much for listening.